Today we're going to be taking images and turning them into ASCII art. If you don't know what ASCII art is, you'll see in a moment. Uh, and we're going to be using a tool called JP2A. And uh, it should be in your repositories for most distros, but so we'll just do an aptitude search uh, JP2A. And it will bring up right there, JP2A uh, converts images to ASCII. And symbolizing by the I here in aptitude, that means I already have it installed. But if you don't, go ahead and install it. Now let's look at uh, three images I've downloaded. Uh, and we'll just use XDG open. And one of them is called Mint Logo. So we'll open that one up. So here's a PNG I have of uh, the Mint Logo. Here is a JPEG I have of the Punisher Skull. And here I have a PNG of the Debian logo. <clears throat> we'll close out of that. We'll clear the screen here. And uh, let's use the Punisher JPEG first. All we have to do is type JP2A and the name of the JPEG file and hit enter. And there we get on the screen an ASCII art uh, rendering of the Punisher Skull. Now let's give it a try with uh, one of the other ones. We'll try the Mint one, JP2A Mint-Logo-200.png. Oh, we get an error. Why is that? Because JP2A only works with JPEG files. No problem. We have uh, Image Magic installed. It's installed on most issues by default. If it's not installed on yours, no worries. It should be in your repositories. Uh, anyway, we're going to use convert, which I've done tutorials on before, and all we have to do is say the name of the input file, the PNG file, and then we'll name the output file uh, mint.jpg. Now we can do jp2a mint, and this program is best run, the simpler the image, the better it's going to look, and since this is more of a complex image, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to look that great. Let's see. There you go. You can kind of see the outline. And you can see you can see it there, but if you didn't know what it was, you probably wouldn't figure it out. So as you can see, a complex image like this one, with lots of different shades, uh, probably not the best option. So let's close out of that, clear the screen out, and we'll give it a try with the Debian logo, which was also a PNG file. So we'll convert that. Debian PNG to Debian JPEG and then we'll JP2A Debian dot JPEG and hey there we have the simple Debian logo in ASCII art. Now if we use JP2A dash dash help we can see that it has actually a lot of different options in here and uh, you can do things like uh, decide the size of the output, the width, uh, background options. Uh, here's a neat option though we have HTML options and I'm just going to use the basic HTML here so we'll do uh, the same command here but we'll add dash dash HTML whoops, ML, and we'll hit enter and there you go you can see the same little image there but with uh, HTML code around it. So we can take that, we can put it into a file, we'll call it deb.html, and then we can open that with a web browser. So I'll open up with uh, Epiphany Browser, and we'll do deb.html. Hey, and there it is, and you can see that it's an HTML file. Very simple. Let's look at some other options here. Oh, we have colors options, so let's try that. We'll run the same command here, but we'll change this to colors, and we'll hit enter. And hey, instead of being my default green color, it's now a red color because that's what it is uh, in the actual image. And we can combine those two, so we can say colors, and we can also say h or dash dash HTML. We can. Well, let's just look at the code. And as you can see, the code is a lot more complex now because it's putting in all the color code into the HTML file. So it's much, much larger than just doing the basic uh, HTML file. But let's take that, pipe it into our deb.html file. 
and we'll run epiphany browser again and open up that file and as you can see it now has a red color to it uh, but once again the code is much much longer and that is a simple look at JP2A. Uh, I thank you for watching and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.